moins une minute. In a few seconds, we'll be into the final 60 Stop. seconds. Moins une minute. And we mentioned what to watch for, minus five seconds. You'll hear the DDO calling out 10, 9, 8. And when it gets to five, the camera will be on the arms, this propellant arms, and you watch them swing back. That gets the whole thing started. Also watch out for 1,500 cubic meters of water, which is going to start to come pouring in from the water tower on the launch pad. This will deaden the thermal shocks and the noise, which could damage the satellite at liftoff. So the sequence begins with the arms. At minus three seconds, we move into flight mode. The computers give the order to activate the navigation and guidance systems. At zero, the DDO will call out allumage, which is ignition and the main engine lights, but we don't lift off yet. Count to seven. For seven seconds, the computers are checking the performance. If they confirm it, then they light the boosters and we go. All right, watch for that. We'll see you when Arian has cleared the tower. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage moteur Vulcain. Allumage des EAP et décollage. Well, at 17.45 local time and right on time, Marianne began her mission breaking through the low cloud cover into the clear blue sky above French Guiana here. Always very, very impressive sights. Our cameraman, René Zamor, is out in the balcony and he's filming us. We have seven cameras, actually five in Jupiter, two on the site, giving us shots that are always impressive. We have a lot less cloud cover than I thought. Some beautiful shots. 772 tons burning now at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. She's burning 5 tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster to separate her satellites over Africa, for Africa. Right now the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core engine and the two boosters are burning and the boosters have just burned out right on time. They burn their 240 tons for over two minutes, and the first to, to go, you can see how they're separated there. There's another one out of camera range on the left. The camera's not on board tonight. It's from an earlier flight, but the situation is the same. The boosters fall 500 kilometers from the shore in a protected area because before each launch, civil security teams make sure that all areas lying under Ariane's flight path are evacuated. We took off with 772 tons. You will recall our mass now is down to 175 tons. So we have lost 600 tons, mainly fuel, in two and a half minutes. We are in the second flight phase. The single engine is burning on the main stage. Next up, you'll hear the DDO call out jettison of the fairing. That's in just a few short seconds. And right on time, jettison the fairing, an idea of what that looks like. There's pyrotechnic cords that blow two halves of that, the other half on the right out of camera range. At 132 kilometers, right on schedule. We drop the fairing now since it's uh, just more dead weight. It has done its job, which is to protect the satellites in the Earth's atmosphere from friction and vibrations. And once we're over 100 kilometers, basically, we don't need it anymore. Take a look at the left-hand side of the screen on the top. You see the cursor climbing up the lines. There are, there are two lines there. One is the optimal flight path and one is the real-time flight path. As long as one is superimposed on the other, we're right where we should be. On the bottom, the two bottom lines, kilometers and kilometers per second, you see. Kilometers is altitude, of course. We're at 155 kilometers. The speed under that, 2.61 kilometers per second, that's how fast we're traveling. The speed we need to inject the satellites is 9.4 kilometers per second.